There aren't many eyewear designers making glasses from materials like carbon fibre. And those that are, tend to use it as an embellishment on the frames, as a finishing touch, rather than the core material of the frame itself. But that's exactly what J.F. Frey have done. And I guess it's no surprise really, J.F. Frey being one of the most creative, influential and eminent forces within our industry, that they would be the ones to do it. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing their carbon wood series, which are carbon fiber frames, sometimes finished with embellishments of wood. And I think you're going to be quite impressed. I think you're going to see glasses that are unlike any others that you've seen before. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you want glasses which are really outside of the ordinary, if you want glasses that are really as unique as you are, JF Ray is often my most recommended brand. It's my personal favorite eyewear brand because I love the fact that they are so far outside the box. They're so far outside the box that the box is on another planet. JF Ray are in space somewhere. They really do not care about what the limitations are that other brands find, whether that's shapes or materials or colors. They'll come up with something that hasn't been done in the past. And to me, that's what life's all about. Novelty, new things, pushing the boundaries. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's have a look at some frames. So, the concept behind the carbon wood series is these are carbon fiber frames and they're actually made up from a series of laminate layers fused together, which makes the frames very, very robust, very durable, and it allows them to integrate carbon fiber into eyewear manufacturing. But what it also allows them to do is have an exterior veneer of wood, if you so choose. And I've picked this one out first because to me it's the shape that I would choose. I really, really like this shape. And the wood finish is really gonna suit people who don't want glasses which are too dark, but still want a frame that's bold at the same time. Because it allows you to have this chunky material, but not be too glossy and plasticky like you would get on obviously a plastic frame. So I really do like the effect that you can get with this frame. It's a very good option for people who are maybe a fairer complexion, a lighter skin tone, where you don't wanna to go too heavy on your glasses, but you still want frames that make a statement. And then of course, you've got to love the red on the inside, which is just a beautiful finishing touch. It's great because you're not going to see too much of the red. So you can still wear them as your daily glasses. You can wear them with any outfit, but you've just got that extra element that makes them stand out from the crowd. Now, not every frame within the collection has a wood finish. In fact, this one is pure carbon fiber through and through. And this one pairs the carbon fiber with a metallic blue color, which is not just on the bridge, but also on the lens rim within the frame as well. So clearly there's just a little bit more color to this one, but I think it needs that to offset the very matte, deep, gray carbon fiber finish. I think it might be too dull without the blue, and I think the blue really sets it off. Again, you've got blue carbon fiber on the inside. And this frame just has a beautiful finish to it. And this carbon fiber is just a really cool effect. Especially if you're someone who's into tech and, or motorsport and likes things that are, well, very technical. Carbon fiber is obviously going to be a material that you're going to have an affinity to because it's used in so many different applications and it's used as a very sophisticated, very advanced material. And this is for the guy who wants a more formal look, slightly more formal frame. It's definitely a slightly more formal shape at least, but doesn't want to be too austere, doesn't want to be too, well, too formal, doesn't want to be too over the top because whilst this is quite a smart frame, it still has character to it and it still has that quirky element to it. Now this third model is perfect for you if you're a guy who has, let's say a bigger than average head, a big brain, because this is a massive pair of glasses. It's obviously miles too big for me, but I'll wear it just to show the comparison to the previous two. Style wise, it's almost identical to the previous pair that we tried, obviously different color. This has got the red on the inside again, but this time paired with pure carbon fiber as opposed to the wood that we saw on the initial pair that we looked at. And that's a great point about JF Ray, which is actually true about a lot of independent designer brands. The sizing is really versatile, so JF Ray make a really wide selection of petite glasses, which they've won multiple awards for, and that's great for particularly smaller ladies. But then they also make frames in this kind of sizing, which are perfect for larger guys. Certainly a lot of people at both ends of that spectrum find it frustrating that they can't find nice glasses, interesting glasses, in their size. Well, with JF Ray, you definitely can, and this is a really good example of that. And in fact, this final pair exemplifies that point even more because these are a particularly small size, as I'm sure you'll see in a second. But look at the grain of wood on that. I mean, that is a really beautiful finish, a really unique finish. As I say, slightly too small for me, 
unless you want that kind of look. Personally, I find this very small circular style not quite to my taste, but some people definitely would love that kind of style. It's a very quirky, very uh, creative, very kind of musical style. I can definitely picture a musician or an artist wearing this kind of frame. But again, it's all about the material and the texture of the material. You've got the wood effect on the side, following through to the front, but the bottom half of this frame has been left in the original carbon fiber. So you get that contrast between the top and the bottom. Really nice touch. And it makes the frame that little bit more interesting as if it needed it. Now, it's not all perfect with these frames. And the one criticism that I would have is that you would expect a carbon fiber frame to be ultra lightweight. And whilst they're not heavy, they're definitely not heavy. They're not lightweight at the same time. I mean, my, my Reykjavik eyes glasses, for example, feel like a quarter of the weight. And, and that does make these more comfortable than this pair. But I guess you wouldn't expect a frame that looks as bold as this to be as light as a frame like this. I guess that you wouldn't expect that. But then, as I say, when you hear carbon fiber, you kind of expect it to be ultra lightweight. I think it's because you've got so many layers of the carbon fiber, plus lots of metal elements as well, and the plastic end tips. I think all that contributes. But if your priority is a unique style, something different, something very creative and fun, and something that's gonna get you a lot of compliments, but also a lot of questions about your glasses. People are gonna approach you and say, oh, I like your glasses, what are, what's up with those? Are they wood? Then you can't beat these. You can't beat the carbon wood collection from JFRay. It's one of my favorite ranges of glasses from my absolute favorite eyewear brand. I hope you've found this video interesting. I hope you've enjoyed my showcase of the carbon wood frames. I've certainly enjoyed presenting them to you. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you did find this video interesting, helpful, useful, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow. A lot of work goes into producing these videos and I'm really grateful for all of your support. So I really hope to see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.